Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, use simple scripts to do a one button installation of WordPress. So, um, one of the web hosts I use called Bluehost actually uses simple scripts as their one button installer for WordPress. So, click on your control panel login, fill in all the information for your login, click on login. And then while that's loading, we're going to go to Namecheap, which is where I registered a new domain today. Don't pay attention to any of this stuff. Go to My Account, Manage Domains. Log in. Go find your domain. And mine is livermoretattoos.com and then transfer DNS to web host this is a pretty simple step save changes and that's done let's go see it'll take a while so anyway we'll pause here and wait for the DNS to propagate and then I'll come back okay I'm back so what we're gonna do now is this is what it looks like when the DNS is propagated because now the name servers have been propagated they know that um, Bluehost is actually hosting the website so let's go back to Bluehost and choose add on domain and it will be right here and then type in your domain name it should take just a second or ten okay it's an add-on domain so choose add-on versus part always choose add-on scroll down let it create its own directory which makes sense and then the subdomain is going to be called this that was all done automatically by virtue of our entering the domain right here okay once all that's done and you and you've ensured that you've clicked on add on domain click down here on add domain and this takes a little bit of time maybe 30 seconds or so so I'm going to pause here. Okay, this is what the screen looks like as or after you've added on your domain. Okay, so that's that. What we want to do now is go to cPanel up here. All right, and then you want to scroll down to Software and Services, Simple Scripts wait for that page to load and then scroll all the way down to WordPress and then scroll all the way down to install and then you get, you have to choose where you would like WordPress to be installed so go find your domain name it's right there then under advanced options you can type in your website name and you can either have it generate a random administrator username and password or just choose one yourself automatically create a new d database you want to do that that's a huge time saver and in step three check the box as well then click on complete can see here that the status is ready to process now the status is at 25 percent and it goes pretty quick from here okay copy your password use your login URL type in your admin 
username, copy your password, and then click login. Okay. This is what the website looks like, which will be not much. A little more tattoos, just another WordPress site. Here's your standard first post. Here's your archives and meta, sample page, all that kind of stuff. So that's that on installing WordPress with simple scripts. After installing WordPress, the next thing you're going to want to do is customize WordPress by installing a theme you like, installing plugins that extend the functionality of the core WordPress installation, as well as um, making some customizations to plugins, headers, footers, themes, etc. So the first thing we want to tackle is themes. So if you go to your WordPress dashboard and click on appearance and then themes, you will see that the 2010 theme is installed by default and it looks like this. Now just to give you a little bit of background, WordPress web pages are comprised of four basic parts. There's the header, the footer, the sidebar, and the content. And what happens is on the server side, the server actually uses those four pieces, assembles all the parts um, on the fly, and then renders the page. So um, what we're going to do now is install a theme. And there are a few different ways to install themes. And I'm going to show them to you. The first way is to click on this tab called Install Themes. And then let's just search for um, something. We're going to look for, um, let's see, one with a left sidebar. And then let's find a theme. And then let's just preview a theme. That's what our website will look like once we activate it. So let's, uh, I don't like that one, so let's, let's pick this one. We're going to just say install. And install now. And then activate. And we'll take a look at what that looks like by reloading our page. You can see that everything's changed, even though I haven't changed a single thing with respect to content or copyrights or links or comments or anything like that. So you can see how the theme changed. We will go back. I'll show you also how to go back to a theme you had already previously installed. All you do is go down here under Available Themes, click Activate, and then reload your page, and that's what it looks like. So that's way number one. Install themes, and then find one. Another way is to upload a theme by clicking on Browse, and then going and finding a theme that you've downloaded. And it's got to be a zip file. So I'll pick Lemon Twist and then click on Install Now and then Activate. And then let's go reload our page. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Let's go back and reactivate the one that we, the, the basic one, and make sure that it loads. Ah, good. The last way, the last basic way to do this is to use an FTP client like FileZilla, log in, go to your domain. find WP content and then themes and then what you want to do is take oops go back 
to my computer, find a theme that I want to install, and we'll install Genesis. So the easiest way to do that is to drag this unzipped folder over to the themes folder and wait for it to load. You'll see that there are 50 or so files left. When those are done, we can then go back to our dashboard. Let's go back to our dashboard, reload this page. And you see Genesis here now, right here. Activate that. And let's go reload our page. And that's what it looks like. So pretty, pretty basic stuff. Three ways. One is to go find a theme within WordPress. Two is to upload a zipped file that contains your theme files. And number three is to FTP and unzipped folder that contains your themes or that contains the theme you want okay that's it